sound test room. Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at bypassing the iPad's audio completely. Okay, so we want to disable the iPad's um, internal audio card settings things and we're going to use uh, the Fio E17 uh, digital audio converter and headphone amp. So these are very cool. You can use them in various ways. You can use them with your PC or your desktop, or whatever you like, your Mac. Um, uh, you can input in various ways, auxiliary, you can input USB, like for the computer, your coaxial, and your your, your optical as well. Okay, so what we're using uh, auxiliary to start with now for this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to this. Now, this is just direct output from the headphones uh, socket from the, from the iPad. Okay, so normally how I'd record all my videos because it's easier. Uh, it's just a little piece of music thing, so you have a listen. It has different sections, so it gives you an idea. So we're going to pause that there, and we're going to, um, first of all, take out the, uh, the just the ordinary connection, and I'm going to put this into the headphone out here on the FIO. Okay, for starters. And then with the FIO, you'll get, you'll get this, this cable here. And obviously you can use a longer cable, but this is like for an iPhone, you can connect your iPhone together. And I'm going to take this and place it in the headphone socket there. And then I'm going to place this into the auxiliary input. Now this isn't doing a digital bypass. This is just enhancing the iPad's internal internal settings. Okay, so let's see how, how that sounds now. If we turn the volume back up. Now I'm I'm not I to me that sounds better. It sounds cleaner and a little bit more punchier. Uh, but you know you have to listen. The important thing is listen through headphones to this video. I should have said that at the beginning, but it's important because you're not going to hear any differences. Okay, so yeah, that sounds better. And you can see you've got bass and treble control. So as it stands now, um, yeah, that's just that's just enhancing basically the what's coming out of the iPad. What we're going to do now is totally bypass the iPad's internal audio uh, settings and card and things and use the FIO instead. Uh, this sounds a heck of a lot better and is ideal for mixing down. However, using this method, as you will see, does have its disadvantages for certain things. So I'm going to knock out the volume again so we don't get any clicks. And take this out of there, this out of there. I'm going to leave the output because the output always needs to be there, obviously, for whatever you're going into. Now, this is perfect. This is what you want to do, not necessarily to record tracks, okay? Because you can get a pretty good Thing with the output but also if you're using any internal audio in, in external like uh, audio interfaces then you're not going to be able to do this <clears throat> so first of all this is also what you get with the FIO now I don't know about the new versions but when I bought this it was the 30 pin but you may get the lightning now but you need to get yourself uh, to if you're using with an iPad Air 2 or anything that are for it has the lightning connector you're gonna get you need to get yourself a 30 pin to lightning thing by the Apple one 
don't get the crap cheapy ones um, because they, they, they don't always work anyway so all we need to do now for this is connect this to this like this and then what we shall do is we're going to push this into the lightning connector like that and then this goes into the external now of course also bearing in mind that you can use extensions for this obviously otherwise you know for iPads because it's basically designed to use with an, I, an iPhone or an iPod but you know you, you're bypassing now what we're going to do is we're going to bypass the internal uh, audio settings of the iPad completely and just use the FIO to process the audio like you would with a kind of an external sound card on a PC so this then we plug this into the auxiliary in on here like that okay so now what we have is the FIO doing all, all the um, all the sound so let me just pick a pick a track for that so I'm going to go down to stuff all stuff will do and we're going to choose we'll just for start off we'll just use the first one again and just see what differences this makes now so we're going to set on play let me set the treble to zero I've got to watch my levels on me mixer as well. So. another track so that's bypassing the iPads audio completely so for a mix down this would be good let's listen to something maybe a bit more softer um, let's go back to our library here let's see what we've got it's a bit, a bit calmer um, let's see this Actually, what we could do is, if we're going to do something like a um, launch pad, if, if you're performing live, so how this would wear, how this would sound better for live. I've just uh, got this new remix thing competition that Launchpad are doing, so we'll just have a quick listen to that. It's certainly a lot louder. I'm like, it's it's a lot more punchier as well. Let me just check what bass settings I had this on. The bass was flat. Yeah. So there you go guys, there's a, a comparison between different audios bypassed and the iPad's audio using the Fio E17 uh, headphone and DAC. Okay, I think it sounds a lot better, a lot better. Uh, loads better actually, to be fair. Um, yeah, so they're well worth it if you're, if you're looking at bypassing the iPad's audio completely. Alright guys, see you later.